Okay, so we are officially done with the dragon bones. I am at, if I hop to a new world, I have all the seaweed I need and all the uh, slime I need for both the dragon bones once I grind them all and for my 85 crafting. So I got that out of the way. I love what I said before I was going to be doing some winter tot. I only did six levels before I ended up dying because I was AFK. And yeah, that was a, that was a thing. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is first let's go to Falador actually. And let's do that. So quickly going to go to Falador. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get some buckets of sand. So I need to get another 5,000 and 15 buckets of sand but what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna set our house to yanil and i'll show you guys in a second once i get my house to okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into my bank open up this tab and i'm actually gonna go and i'm gonna put this here actually buy my bring myself buckets and then i'm gonna go and do house teleport leave my house and come here and just use a bucket here and I should, yep, I'll start collecting buckets. And this is pretty AFK, just use it once and I can go AFK until the inventory is done. So once the inventory is done, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, I forgot to bring my games necklace. Otherwise I would have gone to Winter Todd or Barbarian Outpost, but instead we'll just go here and we'll run to Edgeville instead. And I'll just rebank somewhere and then I just deposit and then we repeat. And I do this until I get 5,015, so yeah. This is what I'm going to be doing for a long time. <laughs> That's the goal. So I'll be back in a very long time. So I've got one more inventory after this one. Not even a full inventory, part of an inventory. After this one, and I'll be done with the bucket of sand and seaweed. So something I'm actually really surprised about is how fast this went. Usually getting a large amount of bucket of sand and soda ash, like buying it, takes a long time but honestly i did this in minimal time like all this together took like one night and i did a little bit today like i was close i had like 3.5k buckets of sand so i just finished it up but yeah it went really fast and i'm shocked because i legitimately thought i wasn't going to be at the point i am now for another like three days but the dragon bones i finished them on saturday ahead of time <laughs> and then i finished the buckets of sand and soda ash and i'm just like I'm a little baffled because of just how efficiently I've done this stuff so far. I think it's because I've done this stuff so much now that I, I, it's just like I don't have to try to be efficient. It's just naturally efficient. And I forgot two more. Um, but what I do have to do is uh, I do have to make some more uh, brings it, or games necklaces because I only have like very minimal left but i have lots of sapphires so it's not a matter of oh do i have enough i have plenty of sapphires i should have to make them and enchant them and i'm gonna need them for uh my thingy i just forget what it's called but yeah i'm gonna go quickly show you guys real quick and then i'm gonna make some more game cycles so see i got right here yeah i only got one left so i'm gonna go make some more games necklaces just to show off how many sapphires i have i got a nice trunk so we're gonna make some ASAP. Okay, so I just finished crafting all these sapphire necklaces. I'm just going to enchant them. I have an abundance, but I'm only making a inventory of 26 simply because I don't use these for that much. I won't lie. Um, I am using them more recently, and that's just because of the fact that there's a lot more stuff I can do that um, doesn't use up my full run energy, and I pretty much have infinite run. So, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I, I bundled through these things like crazy. Because I had, like, I think it was, like, 40, and I just, like, would never use them. But I'm trying to use them more because these are a lot easier to come by. Uh, sapphires are a lot easier to come by than emeralds, so I'm trying to use my uh, dueling rings a lot less, especially for just casual banking. I'm trying to use these bad boys. Especially now that I have energy potions, it allows me to, even if it's slightly less efficient, I can now use these, which I would rather use anyways. So we got those. So now what I'm going to be doing... Uh, is I will equip you bro 50 of you in here grab my ecto file um and I'm going to go and turn all the bones I need to get more pots so I'm gonna buy some more pots and then I'm gonna go and basically I'll just show you guys how one inventory will go okay should have kept it on 13 I thought I still had it on 13 but I 
like putting it on 15, so, or 50, sorry. So yeah, so I'm gonna do this, this, and then what I'll do is I'll just press Ecto file, and then come up here, and then you gotta make sure you right click and bury the bones. No, you use them, and then you go here, and then you can AFK for a while, but what I will be using, uh, if this thing ever opens, So it's working. So if we come over to the Sega, oh, fucking Osidious house. There you go. Over here, and then if we come up here, there should be a guy right next to a bank. I think it's this guy. Yeah. What? There's. I think it's him right here. Um, there might be a might be a different person, but I'm pretty sure it's him. Um. I think it's him or here somewhere I'm pretty sure it's here though uh, there's this guy here will there's a guy yeah I'm pretty sure it's here he sells pots by 50 so you just go and I buy out his full stock in a world and then I just hop worlds and it's right next to the bank so that's where I get them it's gonna be very easy so I'm just gonna get the full amount I need so I will be right back once I'm finished with these bones okay I have one more inventory and then we will be done and we will have 70 prayer in the bag this took a pretty much a full day to do between the uh, grinding of bones and then actually having to use them on the altar it actually that took like the longest uh, other than you know collecting the bones I mean but that took pretty long out of everything I've done so far but yeah we now have 70 prayer which means once we get King's Ransom done we can complete the Mauritania hard diary which is our goal I also need to make more games necklaces I've made I've gone through probably about like 40 maybe 50 games necklaces so far with everything I've been doing <laughs> so I, I do I'm rather I only got nine left but it was all worth it it was all worth it okay so I just bought all the runes I'm going to need to cast my super glass make um I bought a little bit I bought a significantly larger amount of fire runes and a little bit more ash runes than needed this is so I could have a little bit extra just in case for anything so I'm gonna switch really hot switch really, quickly hop over to the lunar spell book then I'm gonna head over to clan wars and I'm going to super glass make all this stuff so I'm gonna see how many molten glass I'll have because basically you get a tiny bit more molten glass than you do in the actual resources and I bought the exact amount of resources I had I needed so I want to see how many more I will have so it's gonna be definitely interesting so I'll catch you guys once I'm finished doing super glass make okay so I just finished using super glass make on all the buckets of sand and seaweed and I got myself a total of I was cleaning up my bank and trying to find it six thousand eight hundred and seventy eight of the molten glass so i'm going to go and turn all this small glass into unpowered orbs okie dokie so i hope you guys are doing well i know i am myself um so one thing i want to mention is actually my new method for crafting cosmic runes this isn't anything revolutionary i'm sure a lot of other people utilize this method but this is a method i honestly i figured out on my own but i kind of figured this is already a pre-done method i just realized one day like this is so much better it it's utilizing slayer rings. You guys probably already guess how it works. It's exactly the same as normal, except instead of going to clan wars, I'm utilizing my mass amount of energy potions that I have and that I can easily acquire. So I can probably get more energy potions than I can use, even if I'm actively using these bad boys. That's just the way it works because of how many I get. So I'm not worried about using them, regular energy potions, so I can burn those like they're nothing. And I'm happy about that. So that's why this works. So what I do is I runecraft like normal, um, except I'm using my slayer ring instead of my arty cape. Uh, on top of the fact that it makes it a little bit faster, the biggest benefit is how easy slayer rings are to get. So slayer rings are probably the easiest item to, easiest and really useful item to get, uh, to craft. All you do is you just go and you talk to a slayer master, I'll even stop right here show you. You can buy 50, like just real easy, just go and you buy 50 right there. And then you have like, full inventory you run back to the bank right here and you just buy them back and forth until you have enough it's super easy to get a lot of them and yeah so that's kind of what i'm doing <laughs> that's how i got them so yeah i'm gonna be you know kind of out and yeah i do use two times as many as i would if i was doing the uh you know slayer if i was doing cosmic um the 
the other method I was doing with the dueling rings, but considering how easy it is to make, uh, to get Slayer rings, I'm not worried at all. The main issue with dueling rings was just how annoying it is to get emeralds and how fast I use them. But considering I can use Slayer rings and it's faster than my previous method, is just out of the water. It just makes it hands down, no argument, way better. So I'm currently making myself some air orbs instead of fire orbs. You're probably curious as to why. Uh, the reason is actually quite simple. Basically, I decided that air orbs would be better for my character than um, fire orbs, simply because I, I have to do less, so it'll cut down the time for everything down a little bit. Um, so I have to do less. There is the fact that it's still, it's not that dangerous. And even, and I would have to bank anyway, so the extra couple seconds it takes for me to get an inventory uh, to get the 72 cosmic runes and earth rune and a lava rune aren't that much of a time waste. So, you know, there's that. Um, I don't know, overall, I feel like it's good. I feel like it's not that bad. It's still pretty relaxing because charging worms in general is pretty AFK, so that's good. I do lose about two mil um, doing this, so that does suck a little bit, but that's not too big of a deal. I only got 63 rune crafting, getting all the cosmic runes I needed, so that does suck, but I also had to make less than originally I was going to make. But I still made myself pretty much uh, the 15,000, so that was good. I think if I had to make the extra 5,000, I would be getting 64. I forgot that I had 5,000 in the bank or 4,000, 5,000 in the bank. And I think if I had to make those, I would have probably gotten uh, the rune crafting level, but that's fine. Uh, from here though, like I said, I'm just going to go and I'm going to try to craft all these air orbs and then we'll see if I go to get up to 85 crafting or not. I haven't made a final decision on that, but I would like to. It's just, if I have the motivation, I'll do it. If not, okay. Okay, so I just finished going and doing everything I need to finish up 85 crafting. So I went and I finished charging all of the orbs. So we have 5.6k air orbs. Yes, I did air orbs instead of fire orbs. I think I might have mentioned this hell now. And I also tanned all of the blue dragon hides and the dragon leather. Um, I don't think this will be enough thread, but it should. So we'll see. Actually, I think it will be enough, but we'll see. And I also got myself 6.7k nature runes, which is more than I'll need. I actually only needed 5.7k, but I got an extra 1,000 just to keep in my bank for extraneous things. So there we go. I got a total of 82 magic, about a little bit done. I can see the percentage here. Almost halfway done with 82. So I may get 83 from this. Actually, I think I should get 83 from this. So that'll be pretty nice, which means I'm only a level 4 boost away from being able to do... um that one so there you go so easier to do but yeah so we got that done and all that so all you have to do now is just buy a bunch of battle staves and uh turn them into air orbs i believe i actually have some air battle staves i do i do i do i do say that i do so that's what we're gonna do is this right here is you guys can pretty much guess what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make 5.6k uh, and yeah so <laughs> catch you guys when i'm done Okay, quickly, let's do this before my mic fuck freaks out again. Anyways, how's it going, guys? Let's see here. Drum roll, please. Not actually. 85 crafting. Oh, my God. Now I'm furious, even though it doesn't say it. So I got a lot of alking to do, just letting you guys know. I only have 10 mil. And I got to get myself. I have to alcohol these, which are another 10 mil. And then I also have the... Blue D eyed bodies, which are there, which will be another one mil. So I got those to do, which I will do over time. But for now, I'm gonna get all the runes and I'm gonna buy myself a fury. So I'm gonna go do that. One minute. Okay, so I bought all the chaos runes and I am down about a little over three mil. And I actually bought five battle staffs, so I'm gonna quickly, yeah, luckily I have some air orb spare. I'm gonna quickly get five of these bad boys. And I'll just craft them real quick, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sell all these to the uh, the store in Karamja. I could get my Karamja Gums three, but honestly, I'm really tired, and I'll be real, I don't care too much. Uh, yeah, it would have saved a nice chunk of money, but I just I don't feel like doing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the necklace mold out of the way, and actually I don't I shouldn't even do that. I should get a chisel though, and yeah. So I'm gonna go to the Karamja shop and sell these. I will show you how I'm gonna do that in a second. Let me get there first. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to set our uh, mouse button to 1. So what happens is whenever we go to do something, it brings up the menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, and then it should be here. So I think if we, yeah, if we put our mouse there and I put on mouse keys, you can just very quickly go, and I can spam my mouse keys button real quick, and I can go and install these super, super quickly. I know what some people are going to say. Um, is it worth hopping between worlds so this way you can get more toggle? Not really. Uh, from my, I did my research online, I don't do this periodically, but from my research online, a lot of people said that it's actually not worth it. It bottoms out at 9 toggle extremely quickly, and between trying to find free worlds uh, that have this and etc., it's just not worth it. I just got all the toggle I needed. <laughs> Let me uh, put this back there and turn off mouse key, sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and there should be an onyx for 300 toggle exactly. I'm so excited. I might not sound super excited right now, but I am ecstatic. Like legitimately just like uh, about to just my jeans ecstatic right now. I am <laughs> really happy. Uh, and now all I have to do is craft it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the recording here and yeah, so I do have to cut. Oh, we got it. We got it boys, we got it. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep these orange spices because I'm gonna need that ball of wool. I know I have at least one. Yep, seven. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right, now we need to get the. this thing oh my god we got ourselves a fury oh I'm so happy oh look it's so beautiful look at this Jeez. sorry oh it's so beautiful look at this thing oh my god we no longer look like a complete noob with our fury oh this is so beautiful I love it Oh, uh, you know what this means? I am done. I am like legit at a loss right now. Uh, <laughs> I can do whatever I want now. Episode 10 is over. I can do whatever I want. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, so I, I can't do whatever I want actually. I gotta finish Alking. Oof. But we can rock our fury while we do it. So you know what? Fashionscape, boys. Fashionscape. Okay, so I'm actually not going to alk all of them. I'm saving myself 150 air battle stabs and 179 player dragon eye bodies. Reason being is mainly because I don't feel like alking them anymore. But the other reason is because I want to, I would like to save it just in case I need to make some more money. I have those literally on hand alk, so I figured that. So that'll be good. So there we go. We have ourselves 16 mil. We could have ourselves another about two more mils, so we'd be at like 18, probably 19 mil if we wanted to, so that'd be good, um, but we're good. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a little awkward, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this episode. Um, I'm gonna go working on straight on episode 11 right away, uh, and from there, I think we're just gonna knock out some, I think I'm just gonna do some Slayer. I had this entire Grand Order plan, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna AFK some Slayer for episode 11, and we'll just do some random shit. And yeah, so catch you guys then.